Hi, this is Paolo from the MB Academy. And in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make atmospheres like Paula and Bryson in the track Night Dawns. So this is the original track. And now I'll play a high pass version of the track with my pads and bass. Cool. So as you can see, the atmosphere of this track includes two pads and a bass. Cool. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Also, I want to let you know that we're currently running a holiday sale across the whole DMB Academy catalog. That means that you can access the absolute best drum based education resources from artists like Icicle, Current Value, Matso, Dizzy Breaks, Cove, Counter Strike, and many, many more for up to 70% off. So, if you ever wanted to learn drum and bass with the pros, this is a great chance for you to do it. Just visit dmbacademy.com. So, now let's get into the video. So, this sound is actually three main layers we have this first pad, the second pad, and the bass. So let's take a look at the first pad. But before we jump into Serum, let's analyze the MIDI. So these are the chords that I came up with to recreate the original chord progression, and they sound like this. We have an A minor, followed by an E minor, plus a D major, and an E minor 7. As you can see, we have the E minor right here, E being the fundamental, another E being the octave, G being the minor third, and B being the fifth. In this chord, we have the E next to an A, which will be a fourth or an added fourth. Then we have B as the fifth, D as the seventh, and G as the minor third. But as you can see, it goes from being down here to up. So you can consider it an inversion. Now about this D major, it can also be a B minor, as you can see. But it changes to a D major when we have the D on the bass. Because if we have the D on the bass, then we can build a major chord this way, with D being the fundamental, F sharp being the major third, and A being the fifth. But this fifth gets changed or replaced for a sixth, and then this major third goes one octave up and then we stack one more octave of the fundamental here then we also stack one more layer of this b up so that is a chord progression really cool so now let's jump into serum so here in serum this is gonna be very simple we just need some analog wavetables such as J and O, and then a sine wave on OCR B, and one more in the sub. And if you're a fan of the channel, you will know that we almost always add our own harmonics on a sine wave oscillator. So if we solo this, you can hear the difference between the pure sine wave plus the added harmonics. So we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna load this waveform on the J and O, which I assume means Juno, like the old classic synthesizer, plus the sub. And now we're going to add unison to both oscillators. These numbers are completely random. <laughs> These are what I added when I was recreating the sound. Cool. So next thing is to bring down oscillator A and the sub one octave down. This will reinforce the fundamental a lot. But next we're going to Filter everything through a bandpass filter. I'm going to bring it up here with both A and B. And then we're going to jump into the effects, turn on the chorus, add some reverb, and then boost the highs with an EQ. Now 
Now for post-processing, what we're going to do is just to EQ out the moodiness of the sound. So that will be fixed with this EQ. As you can see, it's a very, very particular EQ because it cuts lots of the gain of the sound. It messes a lot with the faces around here um, and it cuts a lot of the mids. But this is before and this is after. It makes it sound much more cleaner. Now we can go back into Serum and then play a little bit with the layering. So we can bring this oscillator down, this one up, and play more with the harmonics. Just like that. We can also play with the filter. And if you want to get rid of the attack, you can just add attack here in the envelopes, as you can see. Cool, so now the next atmosphere. So this is the next sound. How it's made, it's again the same setup with the same whip tables, Juno, the basic shapes, and the sub. But in this case, we're going to bring the sub up two octaves. We're going to load this whip table on Juno for the extra highs. And we're going to get a triangle wave of three octaves here. One octave on Juno. And these are all the harmonics that we're going to use. We're going to use the same unison. And we're going to use a similar filter, but instead of band passing, we're actually going to be using a multi filter. We're going to be using LH12. We're going to cut some of the highs and cut the lows. We're going to route A and B through it. And we're going to bring the sustain of this whole sound down. So we have kind of like a plug, like this. But now don't worry because the tail, we're going to bring it back with reverb and delay. So here we have the delay. We're going to boost its mix a lot. We're going to filter it to the highs. And then we're going to change its time to eight notes. But the left channel is going to be triplet. Like that. Cool. We're going to boost the feedback a lot. Very beautiful sound. And now we're going to add some chorus before that. And then we're going to bring reverb here, boost the mix a lot. As you can see, really beautiful sound. We're, we can now use the same EQing. Kind of boost the hiss of the sound and then for post processing we're going to apply once again a very intense eq in terms of cuts but we really just want to isolate this 1k to 10k range then we're gonna double down on reverbs this slice eqs were just for me to analyze the harmonics of the sound and this is the layer that we're gonna add so i'm going to now layer my two recreations i'm gonna delete the originals. This is what we should be getting. Cool. Now let's make the bass. This is going to be very, very simple. If you've been learning sound design with this channel, then that means that you're somehow familiarized with harmonics. So when you listen to this bass, you probably already know how to make it. It is indeed a detuned soul wave with a filter. Uh, in this case, I'm playing A1, but actually this should be brought down to A0, like that. And then we need a filter such as AMG Low 24. So it has a steeper curve that reduces more decibels per octave. And this is the bass. This is 80% of the sound. In fact, actually I didn't add any effects to the sound. If anything, I just boosted its level. Then after this, for post-processing, I just added a big notch here. Around the 400 hertz area. And I added a boost in the sub. And that's it. Now I can layer it. 
and then I can play it on top of the track. As you can see, very cool recreation. So that is going to be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure to get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.